YouTube, Topaz J's back for another album review, and this one is to that Bruno Mars 24K Magic, and I'm giving this one the green light, pretty much meaning you should definitely be checking this one on out, like, immediately, because it is that good, to the point that I would recommend copying this album when it does finally come out. See, this past weekend, I was out at an event and such, man, because my homie, he does DJ, and they book him for, like, big events and all of that stuff, dude, but so I'm out there with him, and the crowd really ain't jumping like that yet, because he was honestly not the main event and such. But yet, when he pulled out the Bruno Mars and that type of music and such, the whole crowd got hyped, even though this whole audience was there for Rich Homie Quan and such. And that's what shows you that Bruno Mars is that dude right now. Even though a lot of people out there are saying that he's the Michael Jackson of this day and age era and such, man, I'm not going to go that far. Because he's his own different type of animal. Because what he does, especially on this project, is get inspiration from past great songs. Then he makes his own rendition and updates them with the times and such, man. And he makes some pretty solid songs based off of that. Like, take that poem song, man. There's no way you can tell me that that's not James Brown right there, dude. And I definitely enjoyed that concept because it's straight up on some gangster stuff. Like, there's always that pretty woman that's super stuck up and such. He's ultimately saying you need to go ahead and throw a poem on your attitude to straighten that on out. And we gonna be cool. Like, I definitely enjoyed that. Look at that song, Finesse. There's no way you can't tell me that that's a new age version of Bobby Brown right there, dog. That straight up and down track with that just feels like that whole Sunday morning by the Commodores and such, dude. That Too Good to Say Goodbye has a lot of similar aspects to that player baby come back joint. Especially that concept where he's talking about how the relationship was too good at times for them to break up and such right now, man. Definitely a solid track. One of my favorites. And even even that Chunky song has a bit of that West Coast 90s R&B type vibe to it and such, dude. But yet my absolute favorite songs off of this was that 24K Magic, which was the title track and the lead single, man. Because if I haven't heard a smash hit before, man, that's one of them. That's what I like was an awesome track. What he's ultimately talking about here is he just loves to be romantic to the woman and everything, man. And that's what the woman wants and that's what he likes to do as well. That Versace on the floor was beautiful as well as he's talking about a sexual experience right there, man. Definitely a dope track. That calling up my lovelies was dope as well, especially for that concept, man, where he's ultimately calling up this chick that he wants to talk to, that he wants to be with, that he wants to do things with, but yet she's not answering and he's like, look, I got way too many options for you to be playing these games with me right now. If you are not gonna answer this phone, these other chicks out here will, and I absolutely love that concept. Quite honestly, this project can ride all the way through, but yet certain songs are just tremendously better than others and that's why I'm gonna give this one the 9 out of 10 but definitely a project that you guys should go out there and cop but a brief recap man the positives that I take from this pretty much everything the negatives about it is some of the strongs are just way too strong for others but this concludes today's review man and now we're gonna jump into a brief instrumental from underground producer 6PA before we jump into the news and then jump into an article from downloadpaz.com That soldier boy said that he is putting a hundred thousand dollar hit on a Chicago rapper named Rico Reckless, I believe, and then he ended up getting checked and back checking on that. And this is really what it is because you should know that this isn't real life at all, man, to keep it 100, because you should never hear about such things, because because if that man does get gunned down, then he goes to jail for attempted murder, which is the same as murder, which will kill it the same amount of time, which is completely stupid. That's something you do not bring out into the social media. But yet, that's the thing about this digital age, generation kids, and all of that, man. You guys play way too much, man, and when things go bad, it's gonna go bad really quickly. But everybody should know that Soldier Boy is like the biggest liar that ever is and such when he's talking he signed a half a billion dollar deal and all of that man when none of this stuff was true. But anyway on to today's article from downloadpass.com and today's article is about part four of our code of conduct to follow man because part one I talked about us uniting together and protecting ourselves. Part two was about how you deal with outsiders. Part three was about building businesses together. Now part four is about getting political because a 
lot of people out there try to be political and such. You just following whatever the Democrats and Republicans are talking about and all of that, man. But that's not actually being political. What I'm talking about here is taking what money we building off of each other and using that in things like a super PAC in order to go ahead and make these candidates do exactly what we want to do. Pretty much the same thing that the mob did. If we want to take our money and do super PACs and such, then these politicians ain't going to come around giving hugs and singing songs and doing the dab and all that. They're going to come and actually promise stuff. Now, whether they follow through with them promises will determine if they're getting more money or if we go ahead and send the militia on them. But yet, that's for another article and such, dude. I hope you enjoyed the show. You can follow me at Twitter up there. And you can go to DownloadPads.com, that's down there, to read today's article.